Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how to create heat map by using the color mix wizard. So I have this data in a pivot table for airline passengers between 1949 and 1960 spread across various months. Here in this data we will try to specify some kind of a threshold that for example if any of this data point is going beyond 500 or coming near to 500 then it should be turned to green or the background should be turned to green and if it is like near to 300 then it should be yellow and if it is somewhere around 200 or below to 200 then it should be red indicating how your airline passengers are increasing across various years so let's quickly go ahead and see how we can do this i will right click on this chart go to properties and within the expression tabs we have specified this expression which is summing the data and I need to expand this expression to see its attributes so the attribute is background color uh, which in which we will use the color mix wizard so to open the color mix wizard let's first click on this three ellipses to open the expression window go to the file and then select the color mix wizard here it has been clearly specified what this wizard will going to do, what you need to supply to make it useful or to make a uh, color mix wizard fully functional. So I would suggest that you should not click on this. Don't show this page again. I think this is a helpful information. So you go and click next. Here you need to specify the same expression that we have specified in the expression tab. So that will be some of average data we'll just click next and here we have to specify the colors limit or the data limits and their respective colors so i will uncheck the auto normalize option i think that's not the one we want to use if you want quick view to do it auto normalize then you can use check this but then these uh, text box will not be available you can actually play around and see what it is doing but for now I'm just unchecking this and specifying the upper limit which I mentioned like 500 and I want this green color I want to enable the intermediate and for intermediate threshold I have the value of 300 and for lower limit let's say I have a value of 200 all right so this is what the color uh, thresholds that we have to specify and a great explanation is given over here about what each threshold is doing what you will what will happen if you use auto normalize and stuff like that so i will just click next for now um here also enhanced color enhanced color it has been specified that will increase the sensitivity in the mid range so that color is pushed towards the upper and lower color so this will basically help us to get a very good visualization same is the case with the value saturation i will uh, go with the default use the upper lower color and the explanation is given on the right i'll encourage you to go ahead and uh, read about this uh, uh, explanation so for now i'll just click finish and once i click the finish uh, i have this very long expression which is uh, uh, being built by the quick view internal engine for us and for now i'll just click ok click apply and ok now you can see uh, our heat map is pretty much ready and it is showing us all those values which is if it is near to 300 then they have been marked, turned to somewhat yellow color if it is nearing towards uh, 500 then it's been turned to green and if it is below or near to 200 then it's been turned red so apart from this if you don't want these numbers to be appeared over here which is like just you want to show some kind of a visual representation only then you need to again go into the properties of the chart uh, from the background color the expression which is being built by the click view engine you need to copy that and within the text color you can specify the same thing and click ok now your data is also gone because the same color coding is being applied to the data values but apart from this if you don't want to show these grid also so for that also you can go into the properties and within this style you can make this cell border transparency 100 percent click ok now your border is also gone and it is giving us a very good look and feel that after 1954 
1955 you know air passengers is either 500 or more than 500 you can investigate that in 1957 it's been a little bit turned yellow and also what is really going on here and uh, find the reasons about it so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video of uh, how to create heat map using color mix wizard and i hope you have uh, found this video useful and i'll meet you in the new video the next topic thank you